Hello, so uh, to answer your questions a couple of ways, um, you can put down a normal, uh, sorry, not a normal, yeah, a group, and we can go tick this off and go group by normals. Can't plug this in today. There we go. And so if I were to set my normal direction to be one in the Y, so it's pointing upwards, I can just adjust this spread angle here and it'll group by normals facing in that direction. One other thing we can do is we could put down an attribute wrangle and I'm going to create a point over here. And let's just position this point up here for now. Uh, so what I'm going to say is I want to go vector A equals point, uh, input one, position, and point number zero, because that's all we've got. And then I'm going to say at density equals the dot product of our existing normals, and then normalize a minus at p so it's going to create a vector that points towards that point and then if we just write that into color uh, like so then we should get a controllable uh, interactive point that we can move around and then if we were to tell uh, a scatter here to use density and i'm just going to tell it to not inherit the color then you can see as we move this point around the points will scatter in faces that are facing that point. Um, you can achieve a similar thing here, but obviously this is a bit of a, a hard group edge. So as we adjust this normal direction, uh, we can isolate different areas like that. But yeah, that's how I do it. Hope that helps.